Sum Chin Kui. Please be seated. The users. The court is now back in session. Reprise de débat. I hand over the floors to the defense team uh, for Nguyen Chia uh, to resume his uh, questioning. Mr. Coupe, you may now proceed. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, Council. And good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, before the lunch break, um, I was asking you questions about uh, Taval. Um, before I go to ask you some questions about his arrest, uh, there's one other issue I would like to discuss with you in relation to uh, Taval. Um, in your recollection, was Taval an intellectual? Taval was an intellectual. Réponse. Taval, to my knowledge, à ma connaissance, was that they uh, would arrest anybody regardless of uh, whether they were educated or not, so long as they were in the cadre's rank. Um, I'm not sure if. I got the translation right. Um, so I will repeat my question. Uh, in your recollection, was Taval himself an intellectual? Taval était-il un intellectuel? No, I, I did not know that. Je ne le savais pas. What, what do you mean you, you, you did not know that? You, you, you knew Taval, you Question. spoke with him. Que voulez-vous dire um, par cela? Vous connaissiez Taval, vous lui aviez parlé. What was, the, what was his original profession? Um, Quelle était sa profession was he, uh, avant? Somebody or a person like what you called an intellectual. Was he an intellectual? Un intellectual? Réponse. When I got to know him, uh, it was not because he was in my hometown, and I did not have any idea connu, whether or not he was educated natale, or uneducated. I, I, I did not know. Ou non. Je ne pas. Do you know whether he was Question. a teacher originally? Vous il était enseignant avant? Uh, in the past, I got to know him because he was in charge of uh, military. Je connu and when I was admitted to um, the armies under his command, uh, people told me that uh, he was Taval and he was the commander. And as for his level of education, I did not have any knowledge of. And I never saw him writing anything either. Uh, do you know whether he Question. spoke French? Savez-vous, saviez-vous s'il parlait français? At the time, Réponse. nobody was allowed to speak foreign language. No matter how uh, senior you were, uh, you were not allowed to uh, speak foreign uh, languages. And at that time, people had to pretend, even if uh, they were educated, uh, that they uh, were uneducated, they were ignorant uh, in order to avoid being uh, taken away for execution. I will get back to that uh, in, a, in, a, in a second. Um, how about 
Tahun. Can you say the Tahun? Uh, the chief of Sector 5. The chef du Sector 5. Um, was he an intellectual? Était il un intellectuel? As I inform uh, you, I did not know him. I only actually dit, heard his name. Pas, I only saw him. But as for his level of education, I could not uh, comment on it. I did not know what level of education he obtained. So you don't know whether he was a uh, professor uh, who was able to speak French fluently? You don't know anything about that? No, I do not know. No. Because I never work uh, closely with him. Then I could not uh, comment whether or not he was educated or was not educated. Um, let me also get back to that one, uh, Mr. Witness. I will now read to you an excerpt from a statement of a witness déposition. whom we will be hearing soon. So I will not give you his name. Uh, perhaps the chamber, it's T, uh, TCW918. Um, it's uh, document E3 slash uh, 909 4 um, English ERN Zero zero seven two eight six five seven and Khmer ERN zero zero seven three four zero five three. This witness um, is being asked a question about Tahung, and I will read the excerpt from his statement to the and then ask for a reaction. Um, Tahung, who was he? Tahung, qui était il? And then the witness answered, he was the top intellectual. He was not ignorant. Where did he come from? He, he was also from Tokyo. Where did he receive his education from? But I don't know where he received his education from, but his talking was that of the level of educated people, not the ignorant. The ignorant speak in a different way. All students and intellectuals sent from Phnom Penh and put into the mobile units were called upon were called up to attend the meeting. And on the next page in English, whenever the intellectuals came down there, he asked them to attend the meeting. He spoke very beautiful. Like educated people. Now, not only this excerpt I would like to read, but also an excerpt of another witness who is coming to testify uh, sometime later this week or next week, CCW 937. And, um, his statement is. Um, E in, you can find it in E305 slash 13 slash 23 slash 306. Um, English ERN 00731124 and Khmer 007. The President, uh, Judge, you may proceed. Mettre copier, est-ce que vous pourriez Council, répéter copy. les références de documents que vous venez de leur entendre L'interprète n'a pas pu entendre. Je vais copier le juge Laverne. Oui, bien sûr, um, monsieur le juge Laverne. Il s'agit de 305 13.23.306. English ERN 0073 1123 and Khmer 007 28797 until 98. Um, this is witness, uh, as I said, TCW 937. This witness um, is being asked a question about Taval. Uh, asked to describe Taval. Um, 
He first says that Taval was mean, but we know that already. Il dit que um, Taval était méchant, thin. on le sait déjà qu'il était he mince. He came from Kampong Cham. Qu'il venait de Kampong Cham. Uh, then there is a question about his hair, which is not very interesting. Cheveux, a little further down, he, it says follows. Loin, well, he was il dit absolute. Il était absolute. 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 According to his behavior and speech, il he might be a teacher. Parlait, il est possible qu'il était un enseignant. Teacher? Un enseignant. Yes, because oui. he spoke French with Tahun. Il parlait en français Tahun avec Tahun. Tahun was a professor from Tahun Phnom Penh. Tahun était un professeur de Phnom Penh. Did he speak French when he met Tahung? Est-ce qu'il parlait français quand il yes, a rencontré Tahung? Yes, he spoke French when he walked. Did quand you il ever marchait. hear him speak French with Tahung? Did you ever hear him speak French with Tahung? I sometimes walked behind them il parlait, to monitor people building the dam. And what they did not want us to hear about, they spoke in French. Travaillaient et quand ils ne voulaient pas qu'on comprenne ce qu'ils disaient, ils parlaient en français. And then further down, Taval was a professor from Phnom Penh. Having read these excerpts, Je vous ai lu ces extraits. does that somehow make you um, change your position, que cela va vous, Mr. Que, Witness? Vous changer, enfin, êtes vous prêt à changer d'idée, Monsieur le Témoin? I will, I will withdraw the, non, je retire ma question. The question. Mr. Witness, uh, can you give me your reaction Monsieur le Témoin, pouvez-vous réagir à to ces deux extraits de déclaration que je viens de vous lire? As for his uh, level of education, I maintain that I cannot comment on it. Overall, I never worked uh, close uh, to him, so I cannot uh, comment. So I, I did not know whether or not he was educated, an educated person. Well, um, then I will ask you uh, to give your reaction to something that I will read now. Que vous That's un an autre extrait extrait que je vais vous lire. Um, also DC Cam statement E3 slash 9004 English en anglais, ERN 00984978 4978 Now what's happening here is at least in the English translation donc, bon, um, en anglais, du moins dans la traduction anglaise, The DC Cam investigator speaks to his witness du CDCAM parle avec ce témoin. Uh, They speak about Taval, Il parle de Taval But apparently uh, a neighbor mais of this interviewee is present and she intervenes in the conversation and she says as follows, or he says as follows. Enfin, dit la chose I'm not sure they were in the army together. Je ne it was pas after they arrested Taman and Taval. They stayed with each other. Et Taval. They escaped from here to hide in the forest. Pour aller what se was his dans name? La Comment s'appelait-il? Latsoy. Latsoy. He knows clearly because they were in the army together. They were in the army together. Yes. You ensemble? can ask him about oui. the date and the month of Taman's arrest. And then the witness right when you ask me, I know nothing about oui. that. I know Quand nothing about the date and month. Le demander, je ne Did rien Latsoy de la date du stay with Tamun Taval and Tasson? Yes, they stayed together. Oui, ils étaient ensemble. Um, Mr. Witness, this Monsieur excerpt témoin, seems to indicate that you extrait, de déclaration, um, and Tamon and Taval and Tasson Tam, Tam, knew each other from the army and stayed together. Dans et que is that correct ensemble. or is that not correct? Est-ce exact ou non? Uh, at that time, I did not uh, live uh, with them. I was uh, his subordinate, but I was stationed uh, in uh, different locations. But uh, he was working somewhere uh, in Phnom Liep. From the translation from this excerpt, it's not entirely clear. But were you called Taman? I uh, never heard of Taman, but I uh, 
Did je n'ai jamais entendu parler de Tamang. Tamang. Mais j'ai entendu parler de Tamang. Ah, très bien. Um, Question. Now let me turn to the arrest of Taval, uh, Tamang. Permettez-moi maintenant de parler de l'arrestation de Taval, Tamang um, and et d'autres. You gave testimony as to what happened at the Chopping Tamar Dam. Vous avez déposé sur les événements de la construction du barrage, la construction du barrage, la hygiène, conditions, etc. Vous avez parlé des conditions de travail, des conditions sanitaires, et que tout cela était la responsabilité de Taval. Êtes-vous heureux d'apprendre que Taval avait été arrêté? When uh, Taval and his uh, cadres were Taval arrested, we were all frightened, and we consulted with each other that nous, we had to uh, flee into nous, the uh, jungle, because if we were arrested, uh, we would uh, be executed. Uh, si nous arrêtés, nous then we été were very vigilant uh, nous, at the times, and we uh, tried to escape and to be uh, and avoid uh, being arrested. But please help me here, Mr. Witness. Mr. We have, I think, established that the Val was a vicious, mean killer. Vicious, um, he was finally arrested. Il a enfin été arrêté. Yet you were not pleased, but you were afraid for Et arrest pourtant, yourself. vous n'étiez pas heureux, mais plutôt vous aviez peur d'être arrêté vous-même. How is that possible? Comment l'expliquez-vous? The President, le Mr. Witness, please uh, hold Monsieur on. Le Mr. Attendre. Prosecutor, you have the floor. La parole est au procureur. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, the question isn't seeking any sort of Merci. factual information from this question. The counsel is, seems to want to engage in an argument about the merits of the arrest of this person uh, and is premising his question on the assumption that Taval was arrested for what he did at Trappier and Tama when the exact opposite is the case. Uh, the position of the prosecution is that what has been proven is that Taval was carrying out the policies of the party at Trappier his arrest had nothing to do with what he did at Trappé and Tamar. So the entire premise of this question is false. I agree there were multiple. I agree with the prosecution that the primary reason for his arrest was possibly something different. I will turn to that subject in five minutes. But I think I'm entitled to ask the question if he can explain to us why at the time he wasn't relieved that this vicious killer was finally arrested. Why was he afraid himself would be arrested? Uh, Council, please uh, make your question uh, as uh, simple and clear as possible so that it is easy for the witness to respond. I will split my uh, question into two. Mr. Witness, why were you not incredibly relieved that um, Taval was finally arrested? que Taval avait enfin été arrêté. Réponse. We uh, did, were not relieved uh, because uh, for the military rank, uh, if the senior leaders were uh, arrested, uh, we would be arrested uh, altogether and we would eventually be executed. Uh, that's why uh, we were uh, fearful and then uh, we uh, tried to um, escape. Uh, later on, actually, they arrested uh, other cadres down the rank and then we were even more frightened uh, afterwards. But, Mr. Witness, we've heard from you this morning oui, and témoin, yesterday that you were forced into the army, que vous avez forcé uh, à that you had to follow orders, otherwise you would be killed. Si vous tué. Uh, you had nothing to fear. Vous rien à, vous Isn't that true? Vous rien à craindre, pas? Mr. 
I am afraid I do not understand the question clearly. You have been testifying that you were forced into the Khmer Rouge army, that you just followed orders because otherwise you would be killed. We know Daval was a vicious killer himself. He was arrested. Yet you yourself were afraid to be arrested. I just don't understand. And yet you were afraid to be arrested. So I don't understand. Frightened of being arrested because we were the soldiers subordinate to sector five and in the north west zone and once the southwest zones uh, came they arrested the cadres in the northwest zone so we were uh, frightened of being arrested and killed uh, by the northwest zone let me ask it differently and then i will move to a different subject um, were you yourself uh, like Taval, a vicious killer. Étiez-vous, comme Taval, un tueur sadique? President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, you have the floor. Uh, there, there's no basis for putting this question to this witness, and again. It's based on a ridiculous fois, premise that Pol Pot and Nguyen Che were arresting Taval because he was a vicious killer. That had absolutely nothing to do with it. Parce que un this, this question, there's no basis to be asking this witness whether he was a vicious killer. If you want to ask fact, factual question. questions, si great. You're faits, engaging in argument. Mais là, il I think it's a factual question. Were you a vicious killer? Yes or no? We can say no. I wasn't. Then we. I'll move on to the next. But 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 I'll move on to the next. Council, please uh, move on. Maître, passez à autre chose. Um, Maître Cope. Let me now turn maybe to uh, another reason why you were fearful of being arrested, Mr. Witness. Une autre raison pour laquelle peut-être vous aviez peur d'être arrêté. Let's talk about. Um, the hiding of weapons that you were referring to earlier in your testimony. Um, do you recall what kind of weapons were being hit in the forest? Uh, the uh, weapons uh, were not uh, buried uh, in the uh, undergrounds, but uh, actually because uh, the uh, troops were stationed in the uh, forest, and then uh, they actually uh, keep uh, those weapons in the forest. When we talk about hiding the weapons, we mean that they uh, actually hid uh, themselves together the weapon in the jungle. That's that's that's. That's fine, Mr. Witness. But my question was, what kind of weapons were they? Were they machine guns, pistols, uh, heavier, arm, uh, uh, heavier arms? Or can you give us some explanation? Armes lourdes. Pouvez-vous nous donner plus d'explications? Weapons include the AT, uh, the machine guns, and. Uh, uh, 
different kinds of other rifles, and then they are uh, stationed in the Konklein uh, jungle, and they are uh, stationed there for about uh, half a month, and then they uh, withdrew. Uh, to Swai, and they also brought together with their uh, machine guns. And then at the time, the southwest zones uh, lured them to uh, to uh, surrender themselves, and then they could arrest all of them eventually. Where did these weapons originally come from? That I uh, do not know. Je ne le sais pas. I only uh, saw them uh, with the uh, weaponries uh, when they Je left Zwei. Um, have you ever heard Question. of um, weapons, arms, etc., uh, in a number of thousands uh, taken from um, former London military? Qui avait été uh, in April 75, uh, and then de London, hit in secret places in the forest. Et qui avait été caché dans la forêt. That I uh, did not la have réponse. the knowledge Je of because I was very young at the time. I only knew that when I uh, started joining the mobile unit. And, uh, uh, and when I uh, joined the army later on, I learned about that. And, and the weapons that you do know about, do you know when you first heard about the existence of these uh, weapons uh, that were somewhere in the jungle? Question. Do you have any idea where these weapons were stored in the jungle? Question. Do you have any idea before the arrival of uh, the Southwest Zone cadres, avant l'arrivée des cadres du Sud-Ouest, it was before uh, the arrival of the Southwest Zone. Leur arrivée. Did you know beforehand that the Southwest Zone cadres would be coming Saviez to the Northwest Zone? Aviez-vous eu vent de l'arrivée des imminentes euh, des gens du Sud-Ouest? Avant qu'ils arrivent. Yeah, before uh, they arrested uh, Tanyam, the Et sector was aware of that. They uh, fled uh, into the jungle Tanyum, and they brought uh, together with them weaponry uh, uh, and uh, hid uh, themselves uh, in the jungle. Ils se sont cachés dans la jungle. But my, my question was, question. did you or others know that before the cadres of the southwest zone were coming to the northwest zone, saviez que les cadres du sud-ouest allaient venir Sorry, dans la zone nord-ouest. I will rephrase. Did you know it beforehand? Le so before they came from Phnom Penh, did you know that they Penh, would be coming? Saviez-vous qu'ils allaient venir? The uh, arms and weaponries that they actually uh, uh, hid in the forest uh, were done before uh, the arrival of the southwest zone cadres. Is it then correct, Mr. Witness, that the proposition of the prosecution that these weapons were there? Que ce que propose l'accusation, à savoir que les armes étaient là pour vous protéger des cadres du sud-ouest, n'était pas correct, car à l'époque, vous ne saviez pas qu'ils allaient venir. Non, non, before the arrival of the Southwest uh, Zone cadres in Sector 5, Avant des cadres du Sud dans le secteur 5, I 
I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I heard the answer. But um, I'll, I'll move on. Because I have many other questions. Autre chose, car questions the answer. Yeah. I'll move on, um, Mr. Witness. Um, Je vais passer à autre me, chose, Monsieur le Témoin. Um, turn to uh, the question of currency and money. Je voudrais discuter um, de la monnaie. Now you, before the lunch break, um, answered the question Avant as to when you saw the currency or when this currency was issued. You said vous um, quand vous avez vu two de months la before the Vietnamese arrived. Vous avez répondu que c'était deux mois avant l'arrivée Now we all know that the Vietnamese arrived and 78 beginning uh, 79. Sont en However, in your uh, statement to DCCAM, you said it was Tanim himself issued the currency. And we all know that Tanim, Tanim was arrested in May 78. A été en May 78. Um, and you also said in your statement that uh, soon after the issue of this currency, some cadres de cette monnaie, were being arrested. De la zone est ont à être now is it, and that would be sometime in May or June 78. Autour de mai, juin 78. Um, is it possible that you are mistaken uh, that the issue that the currency was issued in fact in the beginning of 1978? Nobody actually knew about the, uh, the, the notes, even the villagers, and only the, the soldiers, uh, only a soldier who brought in the, the bank note knew about it, and I asked uh, him to see what it looked like. And uh, he showed that to me and that we would get wage in the form of uh, the uh, currency. And that's monnaie. how I, I saw the uh, note. The note voir ce billet. had the peasants working in the field and the uh, peasants billet, carrying holes. So with this before I, I go to ask you questions about how those notes look like. Um, I want to ask you a question about who issued uh, this currency. Uh, you said earlier that it was the South and Some Cadres who issued uh, these notes. Uh, in your statement, you said it was Tanim. Uh, Tanim is, as we know, uh, the chief of the North West Zone. So who was it that issued uh, this currency? Was it the South West Zone Cadres or was it Tanim? Money. It is Tanim. Où étaient les cadres de la zone sud-ouest? So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, uh, you have the floor. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd, I'd just ask that the question be more specific. Issued, asking when or who issued currency is rather vague. There's two different things here. Who originally printed this currency? Uh, or uh, is he asking who was giving it to the soldiers? Those are two different things. So I've just asked counsel to be uh, more specific in his question. Uh, I, I agree that the term issues may be a little... Um, uh, the word. Um, yeah. um, I'll, I'll use another word. When, when was it that Tanim gave the currency to the soldiers. Um, when did the soldiers, when did you see uh, these banknotes? I saw the uh, banknote in late 1977. However, allow me to clear, uh, to provide you a clear event that I did not know how that soldier got the bank note and he only showed us one bank note. Um, I, know, I now know again why I used the word issued um, um, instead of gave. Uh, let me, in this respect, read Mr. President an excerpt from uh, the witness statement and then ask um, if that's correct. 
that is um, his own statement before DCCAM E3-9060, English ERN 00728746. And Khmer ERN 00733051. There's first a question about a Chinese diplomat being murdered. I get to that as well. And then this, uh, then you say, uh, no, Tanim did not know about it. He plans to reform society. Oh, says the interviewer. Uh, and then you say he planned to get people Ensuite, to do business, and that's why the currency, currency was printed. Oh, he was printing the money so that people could buy products from the cooperatives. Um, so, so, Mr. Witness, in your own statement, you talk about Tanim printing the money in order to uh, have people do business again. Does that refresh your memory? While Tanak was there, he said that uh, business will be uh, reorganized again in the cooperatives and that uh, banknotes would be circulated. And that the upper echelon would give a salary to soldiers. And in, it is my understanding that the upper echelon uh, referred to the Nyum and uh, those who worked in Phnom Penh. But did you hear yourself say? Uh, did you hear yourself, uh, Tanim, say that he um, was giving money to soldiers and the people in the cooperatives? Dire que Tanim donnait de l'argent aux soldats et aux gens dans les coopératives. I only heard from my other colleagues, these people who were in, in the same position as mine, but the announcement was not yet made by the senior level. Uh, let me read another excerpt, Mr. Witness, from your statement, um, English ERN 00728739, and Khmer 00733042, and 043. I saw that's what you say, the currency with my own eyes. We talked amongst the soldiers. A private would get 25 reels, and those in higher ranks got from 30 to 50. The currency disappeared sometimes. The currency was seen locally, yes, issued locally. One month after it was issued, the arrests of the Easterners were heard about. First, there were arrests in the Eastern Zone. When the Eastern Zone arrests happened, Tanim understood the situation, and that's why he told Tahung to mobilize troops and fled to the forest. The intention was to fight against the Southwesterners, against Takio, but Tamok took action first. Tamok was fast and got him to a meeting. Question. That means the currency had arrived in Phnom Rock? Yes. Question. Did you see that currency? Yes, I saw the currency. It had the sign of a cow and a plow. Question. That must be Lonol's currency with the sign of a cow and a plow. You answer, no, 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 not currency from the old regime. The currency had a bronze color and it was this big. What did you see written on it? Cow. Now, I'm not talking about the writing. Was Lonol or Democratic Kampuchea written or what? I did not notice the writing. I noticed a picture of a person wearing a scarf on their head. Um, 
Mr. President, um, I would like to show the witness with your leave. Monsieur le Président, um, avec votre autorisation, j'aimerais uh, montrer copy au témoin une copie uh, en couleur banknotes, both from uh, the Lonol regime and banknotes which were intended to be used uh, in, DK, in the DK regime. In the case file, there is a um, document E190.1.404, it's a page from a book of an author, Margaret Slocum. It's called An Economic History of Cambodia in the 20th Century. However, these are black and white pages in that book of um, the currency. And we have um, produced a color version of these notes. I have for all parties and for the chamber um, uh, a colored version of the banknotes, and I would like to show them to the witness and ask if he recalls what he has seen um, when he talks about this currency. President, the Deputy Co-Prosecutor, do you have the floor? President, Co-Procureur, adjoint, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I think this issue could have been uh, notified at least by email um, so that we had a chance to look at what it is the Council wants to represent um, was the uh, printed currency of the Khmer Rouge versus the printed uh, currency of the uh, uh, Lan Nol regime, um, if he wants to provide it to us and come back to this issue after the break, we can we can look at it. Um, uh, if if this is legitimate, uh, these are legitimate representations. This might be useful, um, but I think the parties need to have an opportunity to examine this before council starts using it with witnesses. I have no problem at all to, uh, uh, to give the chamber and the parties um, both the ERN black and white version and the color version and then get back to it after the break. I have no problem. President, Judge Laverne, you have the floor. Mr. Copé, puis-je vous demander pourquoi Mr. Copé, cela vient à la dernière minute. May I ask you why? N'était-il pas possible de préparer the last minute? L'idée ne vous est pas venue subitement. Je suppose qu'il était tout à fait possible de préparer une demande, puisque semble-t-il, cette planche de billets sera un nouveau document qu'il faudra qu'elle change assez au dossier. Il semble que la procédure pour les nouveaux documents est connue depuis bien longtemps. Et j'aimerais savoir pourquoi vous n'avez pas pensé à présenter une requête un petit peu à l'avance, ne serait-ce qu'effectivement pour qu'on puisse savoir de quoi il s'agit. Well, we put on the interface um, this document um, with the black and white pages, um, and. Um, we just thought it would be very helpful because it's only one page. Maître Copé, avez-vous mis now, sur l'interface les pages avec les billets en couleur Parce que ce ne sont pas les mêmes, c'est pas les mêmes billets. The colored bank notes, since we are not talking of the same bank notes. Uh, well, I've never actually put anything myself on the interface, but I understand that something, if it's not on the case file, you cannot put it on the interface. Um, so that's technically not possible. Um, however, uh, I think I'm doing the same thing you did earlier in phase 2-1, uh, Judge Duvernier, when you were showing uh, witness L. Rockoff photos that you had downloaded from the internet, so basically doing the same thing. Um, and I think uh, the banknotes are on the case file, just only in black and white, and I thought it would be helpful to show a color version. 
à l'avenir, c'est peut-être bon de respecter les règles et de suivre les procédures qui sont prévues pour verser au dossier des nouveaux documents. But like I said, that's technically not possible because this is not on the case file. So, uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'm, I'm happy to give the color version uh, of uh, the black and white here and uh, to the parties, and then I could uh, revisit the issue after the break. President, yes, and you may proceed with your uh, line of questioning. President, oui, vous pouvez poursuivre votre interrogatoire. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, on a few occasions Monsieur you have um, provided a reason for the arrest of people like Daval, Tamon, Tahun, and you said that they were arrested because they were traitors. They had betrayed Ankar. Uh, what exactly do you mean with the word treason? What was considered to be treason? The deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Um, I think counsel has misstated the witness's testimony. The witness, the witness didn't say uh, that he believed they were traitors. The witness said that the Southwest Zone accused them of being traitors. That's a, that's a rather big difference, and I think counsel has to take that into account in his questioning. I have no problem in reformulating. Um, Mr. Witness, um, you testified that Daval and others were arrested because they were accused of being traitors. Did you hear at the time um, what it was that they had allegedly done um, in order for the southwestern cadres to call them traitors? They accused Daval of being traitors, and actually the accusation applies to the whole group, that is to the Northwest group, and I was wondering what they, uh, what they meant when they accused us of being traitors. For me, I did not understand at the time. I did not know about the policy of this uh, letter group. Let me read an excerpt, Mr. Witness, from your statement. Um, uh, you were asked a question about Eastern Zone Forces, um, and in your DC Camp statement, that is on e English ERN 00728748 and Khmer 00733054, you, s you said as follows, yes, because the Eastern Zone was about to flee to the forest in order to join forces with the Northwest. The friendship between these two zones was meant to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution that included conducting business among cooperatives. What you said there to the investigators, is that somehow um, connected, maybe, um, with the accusation of treason, or you don't know? Uh, 
on the accusation accusation by the Southwest Group. I uh, did not know the, the reason. I only knew that uh, people talked that the Southwest Group would come to take over the Northwest Group as the Northwest Group was accused of being traitors. But have you have you ever heard um, whether the treason uh, allegedly committed by uh, the Northwest Zone troops together with the East Zone troops consisted of um, starting an armed rebellion, um, take over power from the center, maybe even issuing new currencies. Um, all this uh, was that what the treason was about? Do you remember? The accusation of treason was about. President, Deputy Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? I, I think Council was clarifying his question at the end, but I think it's important that. Uh, if he's asking this question, um, he's asking whether he was ever provided with specifics um, by the Southwest Zone cadres or someone else as to the basis for the, the treason. If that's, if that's a qu the specific question, I think it's fine if he's trying just to fish uh, and put words in the mouth of the witness, then I think he's, it's, the question is leading. I'm in good company, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, uh, but I think I uh, changed my question at the very last moment. Um, the starting of an armed rebellion, collection of arms in the forest, uh, mobilizing of troops, and issuing of new currency, establishing of markets, etc. Were these things that you ever heard? Um, when you heard about the accusations, were these the accusations um, of the Southwest Zone cadres? I only heard about the accusation that the Southwest accused que le sud the Northwest group of being traitors, and that's uh, I only heard about it. Tout ce que entendu. Je entendu cela. And about uh, two months after I heard about it, the Deux Southwest group arrived. Cela, le groupe du sud -ouest est arrivé. And that's uh, when Tanyim and his group uh, started to disappear. But Mr. Witness, you Question. yourself Monsieur have been fighting against Southwestern Zone forces. Can you really not recollect uh, what the substantial basis was for the accusation of treason? Have you never heard anything like that? Ces accusations de trahison, avez-vous jamais rien entendu à ce propos? Deputy Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, President. This is repetitive. He's asked this a number of times. The witness has told him what he what he was told, and has told him that's all all he knows. Uh, to keep asking him and to suggest as if there was some court process in which it was uh, people were actually, charges were actually publicly announced. Uh, we all know that's not the case, so I think the question is repetitive. The witness has told him uh, what he knows already. Um, I'll, I'll move on. Um, uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Witness, you, you also spoke in your statement to DC Cam about the murder of a Chinese diplomat, or at least that you heard a rumor about this. But what is it that you recall about that? I 
I heard the sector soldiers uh, saying that the North West group actually killed uh, that the Chinese, and uh, for that reason, they were accused of being traitors. But personally, I never saw any Chinese coming to the North West zone. Have you heard? What would be what would what would have been a possible reason for the murder of a Chinese diplomat by Northwestern Zone troops? I was not aware of that at the time. Let me revisit um, the issue that was just objected to um, and let me formulate it differently, Mr. President. Uh, I will read, Mr. Witness, a small paragraph which I just read earlier as well to you from your statement, uh, 00728748 in English, ERN, Khmer 00733055. The friendship between the eastern zone and the, and the northwest zone was meant to crush the southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. Now, Mr. Witness, these are your words. What exactly do you mean to crush the southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. That was the reason for the friendship of these two zones. What is it that you mean? When the East and the North was a group to joined hand, Upon hearing the accusation made by the Southwest, and the East Zone came to discuss the matter with the Northwest, and that's how it happened. But your statement is the friendship between these two zones was meant to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. What then did you mean with the words to re-establish the revolution? said anything about establishing a revolution, what I said at the time was that the, the two zones collaborated with one another after there was an accusation that a, the Chi a Chinese was murdered. That's the limit of my knowledge. But in your statement to the DCCAM, you, you, um, you elaborated on re-establishing the revolution because you say that included conducting business among cooperatives. What does that mean? The North West uh, group actually wanted to turn the society around so that people would have uh, adequate means of living and to re-establish uh, businesses at the cooperative level with this uh, bartering system or exchanges. 
and later on the matter came to the awareness of the Southwest group and they came to take control and arrested those uh, Northwest countries. They accused the Northwest country of uh, being traitors. Did you hear Taval ever speak about uh, re-establishing the revolution, crushing the Southwest zone cadres? By that time, I was no longer uh, with Taval. I was reassigned to work uh, with the Phnom Sorok district uh, military. And in fact, I learned about that from Tana, who uh, relayed such information to his subordinates. We were uh, told that uh, they will restructure the cooperative so that their Will be, there will be a market and that wages will be given to soldiers and to all cadres across the field. I might get back to that, uh, Mr. Witness. Let me go to another subject um, that is in your um, possible conversations that you had yourself with Southwest um, zone cadres. Did you ever talk to women, female cadres, um, coming from the Southwest zone? I had a, a, an argument with a female named Nghet from the uh, Southwest Nghet Zone. She was chief of cooperative of the Pain cooperative. Actually, I went up to her house Je and I forgot to elle, take off my shoes. And then the Southwest group um, groupe arrested me and wanted to uh, send me away to be killed and at 12. Exécuté. A.M. I actually resisted, resisted their arrest. I fought them back using my old my traditional martial arts. I fought them off and then I fled uh, up to the mountain, Rinipre uh, Mountain. Then about 2 a.m. that early morning, I left the Prenipre Mountain and returned to my native village. I think you've, you've, said, you've told that story already, but um, did you also like, um, as a man, women from, <coughs> sorry, women from the southwest zone? Et en tant qu'homme, aimez-vous les femmes de la zone sud-ouest No, I uh, never liked uh, them. Uh, but after all, I did not know them. And in addition, the Southwest Zone cadres alleged uh, the Northwest Zone cadre as the traitors. Uh, allow me to maybe refresh your memory a little bit, Mr. Witness. Um, in which we are M00728745, and five zero. Question: How many Question. Southwesterners did you know? Can you Combien give their names? De personnes du Sud-Ouest connaissiez-vous? Vous donner des noms? Réponse: J'en connaissais quelques-uns. En fait, moi, j'aimais oh. bien draguer. I was flirty, and at that time, it meant many wives. Et ça voulait dire beaucoup yes. de femmes. During that time, I was single and I was talkative. Oui, à l'époque, j'étais célibataire et j'aimais bien parler. Does that refresh your memory? Parce que ça vous rappelle la mémoire, Monsieur Tabou? I knew the uh, Southwest uh, Zone uh, lady by the name of Je Net. Une femme, uh, Ta. Du qui Net. Ta. Uh, Jun. Jun. Uh, 
and I have uh, forgotten some of their names. Uh, these are the names that I can recall. Mais voilà les noms de personnes dont je me souviens. And uh, do you remember when you were being flirty with a southwestern female cadre, whether you heard during conversations du uh, what the reason was um, for the arrest of cadres like Taval? The president. This question is not Monsieur relevant. Témoin, Could you please uh, reformulate your question so that it is relevant to the topic? I will leave the flirty thing out. Um, Mr. President, sorry. Um, when you spoke to Southwest Zone female cadres, did you ever hear témoin, in conversations des femmes du um, avez-vous reasons for the arrests of cadres like Tavar? de l'arrestation, des motifs euh, de l'arrestation de cadres comme Taval. No, I never heard uh, of it. Uh, they generalized at the time when people alleged the Northwest Zone as traitors. Uh, they generalized that everyone was traitor in the Northwest Zone. Mr. President, I'm. Monsieur le Président. I think I'm uh, through most of my questions except the ones in relation to uh, the money. Uh, maybe this would be a. Good moment to Je have a break and then return le moment est opportun pour la pause et que nous pouvons after the break with questions on the money. Revenir et au retour, j'aurai des questions sur la monnaie. So moi, encore le président. Le président. Merci, president. Maître. Thank you, Council. The time is now appropriate for uh, la chambre va suspendre l'audience. Uh, the chamber adjourns now and pour resume at 3 p.m. Et nous reprendrons à 15 heures. Court officer, please uh, assist the witness uh, during uh, the break and his uh, duty counsel as well. And following the break, uh, please uh, have them back in this courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now adjourned.